Corbsy, we are outdoorsy. Uh, we were actually going to go to Darling Harbour, sorry. We were going to go catch the light rail, but apparently there's an accident on George Street somewhere. We've got purple, we've got a blue. Yeah, check that out. All the glass panels come completely off, strip the door off. Check this out. Like the range and approximate cost of taxis are going to be. Check it out. Traffic. So this is where we're going. Check this out. Darling Harbour's IMAX right there. Check it out. Check it out. The Iron Wall. Check it out. There's literally brim everywhere. I was going to go in there, but they're probably going to be like, oh, you need to pay money. And, like, and then there's the other pirate ship. I initially walked all that way. And then up here. Ow! Welcome back, outdoors fam. It's me, Corbsy. We are outdoorsy. Uh, we were actually going to go to Darlinghurst, or Darling Harbour, sorry. We were going to go catch the light rail, but apparently there's an accident on George Street somewhere that's in between Town Hall and Circular Quay. So I figured instead of going to Darling Harbour on the light rail, we'll walk there through George Street and we'll see if there's that we can actually run into the accident or not. George Street we go. So this building on my right, which I'll show you, is called Grosvenor Place. If you've never been to Grosvenor Place before, there it is. We've got purple, we've got a blue, green, yellow, and then two kind of like orangey brown. I don't know. I don't know what color that is. It's like a mustard yellow. It's like a mustard yellow. I'm not a fan of mustard yellow. Yellow is my favorite color though. Eventually things will get more exciting once we venture out of the cities and more into like the full camping outdoorsy areas. But for now, this is what you're getting. Restaurants around here, banks and stuff. There's uh, bar totties on our left. Never been there. We're walking all the way down there. Let's see what we can find. Did the light rail hit a truck, bro? Look at it. We've got a cop car, cop car. And then you've got the light rail and then there's a truck in front of it. My goodness. We'll go see. Because there's a lot going on over there. If everyone came out for lunch at the exact same time in all these buildings, probably wouldn't be able to walk anyway. So they do it in intervals. Some have lunch earlier, others have lunch a bit later than others. The Strand, for those that like the Strand, it's like a bunch of old shops. Sort of like a 1960s, 70s sort of feel to it. Look at that beautiful car. The boys in blue. Go the boys. Yeah, we definitely come up to it. Actually, that was a good idea then. Coming for the walk instead of like catching a train. I was going to catch a train to Wynyard and then um, or to Town Hall and then catch, the, we'll just walk from there. But I figured, why don't we go for a stroll down here to see what's going on? Because I just heard over the intercom as we were waiting for the light rail that something happened over here and here we are. So there's the, the light rail right there. And I'm, I'm trying to think like Did you not see the truck or was the truck there first? I don't know But there it is Look at it Across the road so I can get you some <laughs> It's like hardly a collision mate Oh, but then again, the whole door's missing. Actually, the whole door's missing. Off there. Let's have a look. Like the whole door's, the whole door's gone. <laughs> There's some dude over there playing guitar and music. Yeah, check that out. So all the glass panels come completely off. Let's rip the door off. Yeah, that's hectic. That's hectic. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't on that. I was gonna catch. I was gonna catch one of those that. I don't know what time that one smashed in there, but yeah, look at all mate with his guitar. He's killing it, bud. Oh, he's got a puppy. 
He also has a puppet. Right, well, we're not quite yet where we need to be to get to Darling, so... To get the Mecca. I think that's two stories. Right, this will be us now. There we go. You can see that the people are starting to pick up now because we're getting closer to 12 o'clock lunchtime. So it's going to continue to pick up. We'll just cross over here crash there behind us, we'll be fine. We're gonna walk next to the QVB. Queen Victoria Building. It's another historic landmark of Australia right here, the Queen Victoria Building. Um, kind of like the Strand, how I was showing you before. So inside this building is a lot of the old school kind of looking shops and things. So we'll go for a little stroll around in there. All right, here we go. You can see, it's like very old school. All the 70s style shops, Orton right here, and then you've got Furla, Bally, TD, Michael Kors. It's more on that side, like Longchamp and stuff. And then they have these tiny like coffee shops. People come through, can grab a quick coffee, quick drink, quick snack. Bag shops. It's like all the old school stuff, like from back in the days. They even got Hugo here, look, his boss. I don't know if that's Hugo boss or just boss. It's kind of confusing. Check it. Oh yeah, no, that's Hugo. All the boss stuff right there. Check this out. Before we go. Scorching hot day today. We're in the 30s today. Uh, the GoPro camera, obviously with the battery and everything working, gets a lot hotter. So the camera gets to like 40 something degrees and then it just shuts down on us. So I have to give it like five minute breaks every now and again. So there might be some sections that we were missing to apologize for, but that's just the way technology goes these days. So Bathurst Street, we're gonna walk down this street. There's KFC. You want to go have some KFC on George Street? It's right there. Like the range and approximate cost your taxis are going to be. So for those that are wondering if you're going to come and travel around here on taxis, that's sort of the pricing you're looking at. So if you want to do taxis, that's your pricing. I don't suggest taxis though. There's buses, there's trains, there's light rail. There's a lot of public transportation that can take you from A to B, so you'll be right. I think I'm going the right way. I'm going past Crown Plaza, look. Right up there. Check it out. Don't know what that is. Maybe some type of hotel. Traffic. So 
So, Darling Harbour, one of Australia's most, more like Sydney's iconic locations, like all the fish markets. Uh, there's like a big cinema, a lot of stuff goes on there, a lot of busking. It's like a park right over there for kids to go and play in and stuff if they want to. But this is where we're going, check this out. That's where we're going. Darling Harbour's IMAX right there, check it out. IMAX Sydney. IMAX. There's like, the, they are reimagined reimagined waterfront. So this is where a lot of the vivid stuff happens whenever there's vivid. So there's the Barangaroo building all the way over there. We are just gonna go for a walk around that way. All we do is we walk around and I talk to you outdoorsy and I just show you stuff. There is a lot in store, a lot of big surprises coming your way. So keep tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff or you're just going to miss out. The water is so glassed off right now. Today was supposed to be like 30, around 30 to 34 kilometer per hour winds, but the harbor is like so glassed off right now. Look at that, man. Check it out, the Iron Wharf. Just pause it up and you will see it, but it's considered at the time of industrial marvels of the world. The Iron Wharf stretched along the eastern I mean, the western and southern shore of Darling Harbour it was between 1834 and 74. <laughs> I've just come across brim heaven in Darling Harbour. Check it out. There's literally brim everywhere. That is so much brim, lad. Look at them all. There's so many of them. Check the sunnies on so you can see better. Look at that. Just look at that. They're everywhere. There's so many brim. That is brim central. Look at the size of that monster. He's a monster brim lad. So this is where they're all chilling. Obviously you're not allowed to fish here. It's so where they're all hanging out. There is so many of them in the water right now. Like so many of them. That was weird. Every time I try to stick it in the water, <laughs> the I think the battery was flat. So there they are. I don't know if you can hear me, but the fish do not like the camera whatsoever. As soon as I stick the camera in, they just go as deep as they can go. Like, they literally just go as deep as they can. <laughs> That's so good. I'm gonna give this camera a wipe and we'll be back. All right, we are back. I've tried the camera. There's so many little small bay fish here. Well, they're like tiny little baby fish. You see them? Know how to do the whole sunnies thing but it's like a bunch of them just around here tiny little baby fish these big ones like all the way down the bottom probably can't see them they're all just cruising but i think it's nutty how many rim was on that underside there were so many fish there lad nothing down there we're just looking down at this water Look at all the fish. There's so many little baby ones. Another brim just over there. There's no shortage of brim. No shortage of brim. I wonder if there's more over here because there's shade over here. So I'm starting to find the fish like the shade. 
There's like a net here. Yeah. I have no idea if you could see that, but the size of that brim, lad, they're like 40 centimetres around here. 30, 40, easy. They're huge. They're like donkeys. Oh, there's even one there. That's just a medium sized one. Like, they're so big around here. It's a Navy ship right here. Anyone that's interested, some ships, the HMSA's Advance, the Akarana, the Ina, the Endeavour. Pretty sure this is the one we see go around the harbour every All these ones. And then the, the Vampire, that's the one we're looking at right now. Class Destroyer, right there, look at it. Oh, it's got a sign, specifications. There you are. But the size. Commissioned in 1959. That's pretty cool. It's more that misty spraying thing, look. From like what we saw on the other side of the harbour. It's like everyone does it now. There's another sign there, but she looks a bit worn out. To the wharf we go. We just walk in waterside. I'll put you to the front and you see us walking through the mist. Wow. Look at it. That was nice. It cooled me down a little bit. What a cool ships over there. It's a submarine like look at it. Massive submarine. That thing's huge. Oh yeah, and then all the other ones they have over there. Check this out. If you go up there. Pretty cool. And then there you are. It's called the Cape Bowling Lighthouse. Specifications established or built in 1874. So that's been around since the 1800s. I was going to go in there, but they're probably going to be like, oh, you need to pay money. I'm like, I'm not paying anything to go up there. If I'm the one doing all the effort to get up there, why well, should I be paying to get up there? All right. Piermont Bay. You can see how much closer we are to the Barangaroo building now since when I showed you at the start, it's like right over there now. And then there's the other pirate ship. It's pretty cool. It's all waiting for the ferries. Scan your Opal card, wait for the ferry, ferry takes you over. Let's have a look where this ferry takes you. It says Barangaroo. Should we grab the ferry to Barangaroo? Comes in five minutes. Comes in five minutes. We're here now. So we have done this big walk on over and then walked around all here. Or did we come from down here? I think we came from down here and walked all that. And that's where I initially walked from. So I initially walked all that way and then up here. I don't know how long, <laughs> I have no idea how long that's taken us to do. But that is the trek that we have done. But one last look at your harbour. There she is. Darling Harbour, alright eh? Be some bonus footage here for you at the end for you to look at. 
thank you very much everyone for staying tuned watching and stuff i'm a bit sweaty i'm a bit hot we're gonna go back to the office we're gonna get cool down we're gonna go have a good one we'll see you all in the next one Ow! we just did like a massive hour-long walk along darling and i had no water with me so frozen coke downstairs from the mcdonald's so happy days for all of us now we're gonna cool down we're gonna have a nice relaxing cool down on our way we're walking back to work so hell yeah hope you've all enjoyed so if you have not seen my previous video go and click on this link right here click down here to subscribe subscribe now it's 85 percent of you 85 percent of you not subscribe so get onto it it's free it doesn't cost you anything but helps me out quite a lot and it'll be much appreciated